How's it going guys? Welcome to another painting tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how I painted this uh, Red Grief Dark Elder. Now this is the end result that you're going to get if you follow my tutorial. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial as much as I did. Now this time I'm going to start with a primed black miniature which was primed with a Vallejo Air Primer and I'm trying to give the miniature a scab red look so if you don't have the scab red I'm mixing 2 to 1 mix of Mephiston Red and Macratch Blue it's not exactly the same but I'm trying to recreate this cherry like color that uh, scab red had in the previous range. If you can get a hold of the scab red I would use that but as it's not on sale anymore I'm just uh, improvising with these two colors and they look pretty pretty close so that's what I did. Now start uh, base coating the armor parts with this color thin down a little bit with water of course we don't want any any brush marks or uh, thick layers of paint Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Vallejo Model Air Silver and I'm going to apply it to all of the metallic areas. I just switched to using this Model Air metallics for uh, metal areas because they have a lot more shine than the than the uh, Games Workshop ones. So you can still use the lead belcher for this, but I'm liking this color much more than the other, than the Games Workshop. So here I'm uh, base coating the uh, weapons, the combat drugs vials the grenade and uh, all of the sort of uh, equipment that you can uh, paint as a metal I'm just uh, base coating them with this color next I'm going to use Buckman's glow to color in the flay flayed skin that the miniature is uh, wearing Remember to always uh, thin down your paint. I'm not putting any base coats with uh, paint out of the pot because that's uh, really bad. So try always to thin down your paint unless you're in a hurry and you don't care much about the quality of your miniatures. Now I'm going to use Rhinox Hide. And I'm going to color in the leather pouch that is carrying on the back of his of his belt. I forgot for a moment that this was a guy for some reason. Now I'm going to use white scar but you can uh, ignore this step completely because it, it failed. I tried to paint the eyes first and uh, it didn't matter that the paint didn't just cover the the eyes because I want I wanted to paint the skin around the eyes so that the eyes would stay white and you know we use it like another method to paint eyes but the wash destroyed this this uh, step anyway so oh well now I'm going to use Rackard Flesh and start color coloring the skin now because we started with a black primer uh, this color is not gonna cover 100% you may want to do it, give it a couple of coats and uh, you'll be fine. Remember to thin it down quite a bit because uh, uh, the, th the lighter the color it's more easy to get uh, brush strokes or paint crumbs. Now that that's done 
I'm going to use uh, Calendar Sky and this color I'm going to use it to color in the hair. It's not a, it's not a hard step, it's just uh, base coating. And there you go. Now I'm going to use Sentry Dust and with this color I'm going to base coat the bone that is uh, attached to the hair knot or whatever that that is. Alright, next I'm going to use Model Air Gold which is just as good as the silver but I don't feel it covers very well so just uh, let it dry and give a second coat if you're not comfortable with the result I'm here just applying it on the round part of the blaster or whatever this is it's a shard pistol I think now all the, of the base coats are uh, pretty much done I'm going to start giving the miniature washes. For that I'm using Nuln oil for all of the uh, armor parts and the silvers and I think that's it. Now the uh, red grief has this uh, cherry looking uh, color on their armor and it's hard to reproduce it I think because scabbard doesn't exist anymore and I didn't see any new color for that so I had to mix my own and uh, I think it came out pretty close to the images that you see on the codex and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out Next, I'm going to use Ogrin Flesh. Ogrin Flesh, and this is a, this I'm going to use it for the skin, both the uh, Dark Elder skin and the flayed skin that it has as a uh, skirt or loin cloth or whatever this is. Now uh, the equivalent for this uh, is obviously the uh, Rayclan flesh shade, flesh shade, I think. And then I'm going to use a sermon blue for the hair, which the equivalent will be uh, Drakenhof nightshade. After this step, it's just uh, letting your miniature aside and let it dry so that we can apply details. Now thank you very much for watching this tutorial, I really I really appreciate it and uh, please rate, comment and subscribe, stay tuned for the second part and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.